Hey guys, let's take a look at evaluation of expressions. First off, evaluation means you're finding out what the value is. What's the numeric value? Expression is a clump of, you know, uh, X's and Y's and numbers without an equal sign. We're not solving equations yet. We're just gonna kind of practice and get to that point where we're doing that. But uh, let's evaluate, okay? So if you want, need to pause this and copy it, go ahead and do that. On these, you need to be really accurate. Take your time, be very accurate, and write things down very carefully, or else the negative signs will get you. Okay. All right, uh, let's go. Evaluate x squared y minus y if x is negative 2 and y is negative 4. Okay, we're just going to stick this in here. If x squared, so I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I need to tell myself that this number gets squared. So the negative 2 is going to get squared. The y is just negative 4, so I'll multiply that there, minus this number, which means I'm going to subtract negative 4. Are we there? Okay, negative 2 times negative 2, 4. And then I'm going to multiply by negative 4. And then the opposite of negative 4, in other words, you know, subtracting a negative 4 is the same thing as adding 4. Okay, 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 4 is negative 12. Bingo, bango, there we go. That's all we do. Okay. Let's do another one. So pause this and copy yours down very accurately. Okay, I'm assuming you've uh, unpaused now. Evaluate this if a is negative 2 and b is 4. All right, so let's do very carefully, let's write this out. So a is negative 2, I'm going to write negative 2. All right, now I'm going to write the opposite of b, which is going to be negative 4. Now I'm going to write the opposite of a, and if a is negative 2, then the opposite of a is positive 2. And then I'm going to write a minus. And then I'm going to write, okay, my a is negative 2, just to kind of keep it separate there, and my b is 4. So I've very carefully written that out, so I have, I'm more accurate, accurate in doing that. Okay, well, uh, let's do the parentheses first. That's the order of operations. So let's go ahead and I'll copy down negative 2, and then negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. And then, if you want, you can go ahead and do this part too. Let's see, minus negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Okay, let's do this next. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And the opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. And 4 plus 8 is 48. No, I'm just kidding, that's 12. Okay, just check and see if you're still awake there. Okay, good enough. All right, just be really careful with those negative signs. Okay, all right, let's add some like terms. Well, what is a like term? It's something that has the same variable and the same exponents with the variable. All right, so if you're doing things like, oh, let's say you have a 3a and then a 3b. Well, you can't go, oh, that's going to be a 6ab. That doesn't work. That's like saying three apples plus three bananas is, is, is six apple nanas or banapples or something like that. You can't do that. You, just, you can't, you know, the guy at the grocery store doesn't just go, here, here's your fruit, and just mash them together. Here's six of them. You'd like, you know, start shopping somewhere else. Okay, that's, you just, this is not, nothing you can do with this. But if you had, let's say, 6AB and then minus 2AB, well, those are like terms, right? Those are exactly the same. So you could say, well, that is 4 a, B, and that's what we're going to do. So this is kind of back to more, more Algebra 1, but it's okay. So first thing I would do is go to the very left. Are there any other X, Y's across here? Oh, yep, there's one right there. So if I have 3 of something and I have negative 6 of something, that means I have negative 3 of that something. All right, so that's gone and that's gone. Now I have a negative 2X. Anything else like that? Yep, there it is, a positive 3X. So negative 2X plus 3X is a plus a positive 1X. And then there's a 4 sitting there left over. Just plunk it on the very end, and that's all you can do. Don't try to mash those together because they can't. You can't. They're not like terms. So that's it for like terms, all right? Here's another one that is another one of those Algebra 2 problems that look extremely complicated and make you want to start, like, you know, crying or something. Or maybe as, if you're really desperate, you might start watching golf on TV or something. But anyway, so take a second and, you know, pause it and copy this down. All right, well, what you can do is anytime a term is exactly the same, 
every letter has exactly the same exponent attached to it as something else, you can mash those together. Okay, now some kids I know, they like to go, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take all of these numbers and I'm gonna eliminate all the denominators so I can see everything right up front. Fine, go ahead and do that. Other kids like to go, I'm gonna take it, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it so there's no negative exponents. So I don't like to see those negative exponents, they bother me. Okay, so uh, you can either, you, either one of those is fine. Let's just, let's just face up to the negative exponents and then just mash everything together. So let's just take this term here and write it with everything in the numerator. So I'm gonna keep my three, the a negative two, the b, and then the c, instead of being c to the one, it'll be c to the negative one up there, right? Done. Minus, then I have a four, then a b, and I'm gonna move that a squared up there, that turns into a to the negative two. I'm moving this c up there, that turns into c to the negative one. All right, plus, notice this is already ready the way it is, so I'm gonna keep that the way it is. And then this last one is my four. I got a good B, I got an A squared, and then the C goes up and becomes C to the negative one. Now our question is now, which one of these things match? Okay, let's just start the very left. I got A to the negative two, B, and then C to the negative one. A to the negative two, B, and then C to the negative one. Well, these are like terms. We can get those together. Let's check the next one. A to the negative two, C to the negative one, and a B, that's also a like term. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, I got a B, I got A to the, ne oh, that's not a negative two, that's a positive two. So that cancels it right away. But these three are like terms. I got three of something, I got negative four of something, that gives me negative one of something, and negative one of something plus seven of something gives me six of something. So I'll say it's six negative, uh, a to the negative two, b to the first, c to the negative one, and then I just plop this on the very end. That's gonna be four b a squared and then c to the negative one. Now I, again, don't be, you know, these are addition problems and they're just that little trick of moving the stuff up to make them all denominators if you want to. Oh, excuse me, numerators. You can also, again, if you don't like seeing negative exponents if they bother you, well then fine, mash all these around so you don't see any negative exponents. And you'll find the same thing, that you will get the, exactly the same answer. Uh, but just make sure if yours doesn't match the back of the book, that you, let's say you've got an A to the 10th on top, and the back of the book has, on the bottom, A to the negative 10th. Don't go, oh no, because it's the same thing, same exact thing. So, and that is it, that is the answer. Nothing else you can do to that. That's a B, a B, C to the negative one, C to the negative one, but A squared is not the same thing as A to the negative two. They don't match, so you can't add them together. Okay, all right, does that sound pretty good? I'm assuming you said yes. Okay, so go ahead and pause it and try practice problem A, and then unpause it when you're finished. Okay, let me get to an exciting new color here. Oh, A, B squared minus B, A is two, and B is negative three. Okay, so let's just, A is two, B squared means the actual number, negative three squared, and the opposite of B means the opposite of negative three, which is positive three. All right, let's do the negative three squared first. Negative three times negative three is nine. Two times nine is 18 plus three, and the answer is 21. There we go. <clears throat> okay, pause it and try B. Okay, and again, this is, be really careful with this stuff. So you can go x is two, y is negative three, that's our multiplication here, minus, and I know there's already a set of parentheses in here, but let's just go ahead and see what we got here. Well, this is going to be, I'm gonna put a bracket here so I can see it a little better. The opposite of x is negative two. y is negative three. And plus y, that means you're going to add negative 3, which is the same thing as subtracting 3. So that's, you got to get that right. Taking a little extra time to make sure you're copying this down correctly. Let's do the parentheses, let's do inside of here first. Um, and we can go ahead and do this multiplication first. Uh, I mean, just at the same time. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then minus, let's go ahead and bracket that sucker again. And we have negative two times negative three, that is a six, right? Positive six. Six minus three is three. 
So that is what we have so far, right? So a negative 6 minus a 3 is negative 9. And there we go. All right. Did I do that right? Negative 6 there minus a 6. Boom, boom. And there we go. I think that did it. Okay. All right. Pause it and try C. And we'll come together in just a second. All right, let's do it a different way. Let's just appease everybody who hates those negative exponents. I'm going to rewrite this entire thing with no negative exponents. So I'm going to do the first term. That's going to be 2. I'm going to keep the x like it is. And I'm going to move that a to the third, a to the negative third down here. It turns into a to the positive third. And I'm going to keep my m the way it is. OK, now I'm going to minus, And I've got 5x. And then lo and behold, look at there, an a to the third with an m. And then plus. We can already tell this isn't going to work, okay? So because the a to the third is on the other side, the m goes up here and becomes m to the positive one, and then the x goes down here. Okay, even though it has an a to the third and m to the x, it just it doesn't work because if you put these two down here to match the a to the third and m, they would both turn into negatives. And if you move the x up here, that would be negative x to the negative one. And these are x to the positive ones. So these two are like terms. Oops, that was supposed to end right there. Okay, there's 2 of something minus 5 of something gives you negative 3 of something. And that's the something, is the x and then a to the third m plus a to the third m over x. And even though they have the same three letters, they are not like terms. And don't try to add them together. Or you're out of here. Okay, all right. Pause it and try D and see what you get. There was no D. Forget it. Don't pause it at all. Turn this thing off. What are you still looking at me yakking for? Anyway, all right. Have a good time with the problem set. Give it your best. Copy those numbers very carefully. And uh, see you guys next time. Have a great day. Thanks.